Welcome. It's uh, Saturday night. We're in BGC, so we're going to see a bit of the nightlife after. But uh, we're starting off in Shrimp Bucket, which is a pretty basic place, but um, food's really good. It's date night with my lovely girlfriend, Michaela. I must apologize to everyone. She made absolutely no effort before coming out tonight. <laughs> well, this is the concept. They, you get a bag of shrimp. <laughs> so it's mixed in with all the sauce. They throw it all in a bag. You get your rice. Uh, they throw all this paper stuff on, you eat with your hands and you just kind of throw everything in the middle and then they just wrap it up and throw it out. So we're going to have this and then we're going to head out probably in Forbes Town. This is what it looks like after. Obviously the gentlemanly thing to do is to discreetly get the bill, but seeing we're videoing this and you guys would be interested, the bag of shrimp was 750 pesos, which is $15. Uh, rice per portions a little over a dollar each and a bottle of water is about a dollar so all in all was that 23 dollars date night totally worth it <laughs> okay we're entering forbes town we just walked a few meters down from uh, the shrimp place so this is nikayla she's embarrassed to be walking with me right now <laughs> so, oh, they serve cat <laughs> This is Burgos Circle, and this is the spot of Forbes Town for the night out. We'll just hold it this way. Usually cars stop. Yeah, one thing about BGC, cars usually stop. So this is Forbes Town. This is one of my favorite places to go out in. Uh, whenever the, um, whenever the, um, uh, with the lockdown rules and so on, for, for quite some time, dining wasn't allowed. So what they did here was section off uh, Part of the street and uh, to add extra tables and so on. And yeah? <laughs> Are you going to walk in front of me because you're embarrassed? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Michaela's embarrassed. I think it's the uh, tripod thing, which is quite small, which I'm holding. Oh, cool. Cool dog. Just past Noors, that's usually uh, that's a pretty cool place. Uh, pretty loud music and so on. Uh, decent food. Thing with Manila as well, it's, just, it's actually small in a sense. With uh, everybody goes to the sort of same popular places and so on. So I'm going to take a go out on a limb here and say I'm going to bump into someone I know. Message anyone tonight, don't know if anyone's out or where they are, but uh, I know someone here. Babe, where are we going? Let's just go to Broadside. Where? Broadside. Where? Oh, the German place. Yeah, it's better. All right. Since it's raining, mm -hmm. it'll be better. <laughs> this is one of my favorite places as well, Bugsy's. Pretty cheap as well. You can, uh, like, I think 1500 pesos, 30 dollars for a uh, bottle of Smirnoff. And then if you don't finish it, they put it in a cabinet and they're pretty good at holding on to it. They've kept bottles for me for months with lockdown and whatever else. Oh, this is popular. Never actually been in it. Might check it out later. Zion. We're only walking this way because I don't want to be seen with you right now. <laughs> it's a small tripod. Oh my god, if you guys can only see the tripod is using. <laughs> this is why we're doing this. We can walk like this and talk to each other. <laughs> okay, here's some reality. We walked out without face shields. I think Philippines is the only country in the world that does uh, face shields. Um, so we walked out and then to go into a bar, um, to take your face shield off, you need, to <laughs> you need to have a face shield to walk in to be able to take it off. Uh, seems a bit nuts, yeah. So uh, we have to stop at a 7-Eleven and grab our shields. That was our quick detour. It's only 7.30 p.m. Curfew's midnight, so uh, am I still young? Uh, we'll see what else we find along route. And uh, I'm keen to go back to Forbes Town later because I do like it. It's a really good vibe, really good atmosphere. We have found the German bar. German here? Uh, Idaho or something. Hi there. Uh, no, no, we're just uh, here. Uh, Weissen. 
expertly poured. <laughs> cool, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Welcome. Enjoy. Frost cheers. Cheers. Enjoy. Thank you. Great night. <laughs> Always so foamy, the German beers. It does have a lot of sort of uh, original German beers. I don't know. I forgot site. I don't know. Uh, for about five or six dollars. Uh, well, six or seven dollars actually for a, a half liter. And then over here is really weird. It's got beer with banana and mango juice. No. Original hell with the, no. Original hat with lemonade, well I guess for girls. With cola, no. Vodka yes. and lime, no. Yes. Lemonade, no. Yes. Apple juice, no. Yes. Duke and Heffer Weissenbaum with cranberry juice. No, no. it's really good. I tried it and it's so good. Yeah. But, um, so I went for a bottle. So I went for s the strongest one there, 7.7%. And it's just been poured. So, I think, uh, I think what annoys me about German beers, so I didn't get a draft one, was um, whenever they pour it with the draft, it just comes out all foam. You ask for half a litre and you get you know, a quarter of a litre of foam, so it went for a bottle and then top up. Maybe it's an Irish thing, I feel like I get cheated when the, the head's too big. What? We want our money. Oh my God. It's a $6 beer, and when you're used to buying San Miguel at $2 or even less, a dollar fifty, uh, yeah, dollar fifty to two dollars for San Miguel, and then you're spending six or seven dollars on beer. You want an actual beer? Now, right, time for the taste test. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it actually is really good. You can sort of see why it costs three times more than San Miguel. Oh, yeah, it's delicious. Did you get me? Cucumber Delight. I don't know what's in it, but it's so good. We've uh, we finished in the German place. So uh, the, this kind of um, thing that Filipinos are into, which is uh, secret bars or hidden bars. And they're not legal. It's not to be confused with uh, underground bars, which there are many are at the minute. Where there used to be many, fewer now. They've been shut down because uh, there are a lot of sort of not illegal bars, but staying out after curfew and literally hidden underground bars but this one's a this one's a hidden bar so you tend to go through uh, like things like 7-elevens and different shops and then there's a door and it opens up into something big so I've been to a few around Makati and never been to this one before but I think it's in the back of this burger place we continue our journey down high street the secret bar was full it's only what eight o'clock eight thirty oh it's nine o'clock uh, yeah yeah uh, you know limited capacity in these uh, lockdown times and whatever else. So they hit capacity and we couldn't get in. We'll do it another night. I actually thought, hey, we'll do, um, I'll do a tour of secret bars sometime. I'll hit three or four in the one night and uh, take you on the tour. But we're going to another secret place. Our secret. Nobody really knows of that one. I mean, unless you actually hang out around here. Unpopular or secret? No, secret. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. We we'll have to go to a shop. I thought we were going to the darts place. Yeah, isn't that the darts place? You have to go to a shop. Yeah. It's in a mall. It's not a mall place. It is a mall. You have to go to Unico. Where are we going? Unico, where the bar is. That's not a secret bar, it's a mall. It's a secret bar, nobody, nobody knows about it. It's because it's hard nobody to find. Okay, uh, on to the darts bar. Probably gonna have to be silenced because the music. This is pretty cool. Wow, look at it over there. Uh, this is great because it's been so quiet here for so long. Yeah, it's been lively now, it's a bit of a vibe, but uh, we're in alert level three now, whatever you want to call it, technically kind of amber, but uh, it's good to see that it's, it's relaxed. It's relaxed so, so much in Forkstown. Before it was like super strict, huge tables and people spread apart, you know, all these COVID rules and so on. And all these, I'm just about to talk about this guy and they're looking at me. <laughs> so, uh, we'll try and do it. 
Oh no, he doesn't have it. These uh, security guards are like rent a cop. They, um, a lot of them actually have written on their back social distancing ambassador and they take their jobs so, so seriously, like unbelievably seriously. They, it's like life and death if people get within two feet of each other. So, uh, so for the last year or more, they, they've really been um, um, really hard on all the bars uh, you know, with social distancing rules, but now it all seems pretty relaxed. It's practically back to normal there. Um, outside Forbes Town, which is really cool to see because I uh, haven't seen that since 2019. Pretty much everywhere along the street here, every every table is taken. We're, we're struggling a bit. Uh, so uh, we're going to try Bugsy's one more time and see if we can squeeze in somewhere. What I love about bars here is we still have um, sort of um, yeah, bottle set up. So amazingly, I first got this in January. It's now October. Uh, we had various lockdowns, I didn't get back and sometimes I came here, I was in a beer mode. Came, went back in June, I think, and uh, said I returned. The only bars like described them after like a month or two, but uh, I got this back in January and it's still, uh, still here 10 months later, so good, good on Bumpsies for keeping it. And it's quite a lot in it, please with that. And that was our date night, Forbes night, darts. German beer. Night out. Night out. Yeah, just an average night out, basically. But uh, uh, an average night out here is a, an amazing night in Ireland. Well, the equivalent to an amazing night in Ireland. So every night is amazing. So, yeah. Okay. Bye, guys. Hope Bye. you enjoyed.